So sometimes you know how long the journey took and the speed, but maybe you don't know the distance. It's like trying to figure out how far you've gone if you've been on the road for an hour without checking your phone or the map. But don't worry, maths has got you saved even here. So there's a formula to calculate the distance and that is simply the speed multiplied by the time. So let's do an example together. Imagine you're driving at, let's say, 70 miles per hour on the motorway and you've been driving for an hour and a half. So the distance that you're covering or that you would have covered is 70 times by 1.5 and that is 105 miles. And let's do a different example, by the way. So imagine you're now driving at 50 miles per hour and you've been driving for three hours. You know that you've covered 150 miles. So in the exam, just make sure that you're also looking at the units. Sometimes they might give you meters per second and they might give you the, give you the time in uh, hours or minutes rather than seconds. So as long as you've got your units sorted, you can't go wrong in the exam.